On Thursday, Jesus and his disciples were gathered together in an upper room, ready to share the Passover meal. Each year in the meal, they remembered how Moses had helped the Israelites escape from their slavery in Egypt. Everyone's feet was dusty and smelly after all the walking. Before the meal started, Jesus put a towel round his waist and knelt down and washed the disciples' feet. When he'd finished, he said to them, I did this as an example for you, so you should serve each other just as I served you. While they were sitting at the table, Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it. He broke it and said, This is my body. Jesus took a cup of wine and said, This wine represents my blood. He told his friends, whenever they had bread and wine, to remember him. Jesus also told them that one of them would betray him and they would all run away. Not me, said Peter. Jesus looked at Peter and said to him, Peter, before the cock crows in the morning, you will have said three times that you do not know me. Then Jesus and his friends went to the Garden of Gethsemane. He asked Peter, James and John to stay awake while he prayed. He knew what was going to happen to him and he was upset. Abba, Father, Jesus prayed, you can do all things. If possible, don't make me go through this time of suffering, but not what I will, but what you will. God sent an angel to give Jesus strength. When Jesus went back to Peter, James and John, he found them asleep. Get up, Jesus said. The time has come. Here is the man who will hand me over to those who want to kill me. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, brought soldiers to arrest Jesus. Earlier in the week, Judas had discussed with the chief priests how he could betray Jesus. They had given him 30 pieces of silver. Now Judas came to Jesus and gave Jesus a kiss to show the soldiers who to arrest. The soldiers put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head and made him wear a purple robe. Jesus was taken before the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate. Peter stayed near the fire in the courtyard. A servant girl asked him if he knew Jesus. Three times Peter said that Jesus was not his friend. Then the cock crowed. Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Pilate wanted to let Jesus go. In prison there was a murderer called Barabbas. Pilate asked the people who should he let go, Barabbas or Jesus. Barabbas, they shouted. What shall I do with Jesus, Pilate asked. Crucify him, the people shouted. So Barabbas was let out of prison and Jesus was led out to be crucified. The soldiers killed Jesus by nailing him to a cross. And while they waited, they played a game with dice to see who would get his robe. Before he died, Jesus asked God to forgive them. The Roman centurion looked at Jesus and said, Surely this man was the Son of God. When he was dead, Jesus' friends wrapped his body, put it in a tomb and rolled a stone across the entrance. Very early on the Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene and some other women came to the tomb. The women were shocked to find the stone had been rolled away and Jesus' body was gone. While they were wondering about this, an angel appeared. The angel told them that Jesus was not dead he was alive again. They told Jesus his friends, but they did not believe the women. On that Sunday evening, Jesus' friends were all gathered together. Suddenly Jesus was with them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. They were scared because they thought Jesus must be a ghost. Look at my hands and feet, Jesus said. Touch me 
and see that I am real. Jesus' friends were amazed when they realised that Jesus had risen from the dead. He was now alive.